Here's how Yamaha fakes a throttle blip in its EV motocross bike. Hey there, EV enthusiasts. Ready to take a joyride into the world of electric vehicles with EVpedia? Buckle up because we're about to embark on an electrifying journey together. But hold on, before we hit the accelerator, let's make sure you're part of our EV squad. Hit that subscribe button faster than a Tesla off the line. Smash the like button harder than a Cybertruck's exoskeleton. And drop a comment below that's juicier than a fully charged battery. Let's turn this channel into the EV hub of the future, one click at a time. Why would an electric bike need a clutch? For very good reasons, actually. Electric motocross bikes, like the Stark Varg, are proving to be formidable machines against even the most modern 450s, so much so that the FIM banned them from competing in the same class. No manufacturer could compete with the 80 horsepower that's instantaneously on tap during the whole shot. It's time to adapt or die. But there's one area the Stark Varg can't compete with a conventional motocross bike, the clutch, or rather the lack of one. You see, to fire out of supercross berms or keep the front wheel pointed skyward over rough terrain or a set of whoops, riders are either dumping or feathering the clutch to keep the bike dancing. The clutchless operation of the Stark is one of the few things riders say that hold them back from doing everything they normally could. Well, whenever Yamaha launches its first electric motocross bike, it looks like it'll have something that resembles a clutch. Here's how it'll work. The patent. Last month, we learned that Yamaha has a new patent application, which relates to a motocross bike, specifically relating to how to design a transmission to improve traction. But, more recently, Cycle World reported that Yamaha filed a new patent relating to how the bike's transmission would work without a conventional clutch but something that performs the same duty. The patent shows the transmission from Yamaha's electric trials bike, the TYE, with the clutch and flywheel eliminated and replaced by a set of springs between the motor and transmission. The purpose of these springs is twofold. Firstly, the springs should help soften the rapid response of an electric motor, and secondly, they can be used to temporarily store energy. According to Cycle World, when the rider dumps the throttle, the springs compress and store energy. Then, they extend again to release the energy, which is combined with the maximum output of the motor to give a short boost of power. So, if you need to pick up the front end, as you normally would by blipping the throttle with a clutch, this should produce the same result. I reached out to a member of Yamaha Motor Corporation U.S.A's press team, inquiring about when we might see a prototype electric motocross bike from the brand. He responded by saying, As for an electric motocross bike, unfortunately I can't comment on anything that isn't currently available for the U.S. market. It's not exactly an answer, but it does point to the motorcycle coming in the future. This is why you need a clutch. It wasn't until I watched this video that I realized how important it is to have a clutch on an electric dirt bike. Check it out and let us know what you think about the future of electric racing. Well, fellow EV aficionados, that's a wrap for today's electrifying adventure. Thanks for joining us on this ride. But hey, the fun doesn't stop here. Keep those likes, subscribes, and comments coming in like a convoy of electric cars on a mission. Together, we'll charge ahead into a brighter, cleaner future. Until next time. Keep those wheels turning and those electrons flowing. Stay charged, my friends.